What's up guys, this is Victor or Leonidas Sons and I'm gonna bring you episode 2 of our getting better black ops, getting ready for black ops 2 and yeah also getting better cause I'm, I'm a noob in um, black ops. I played it before as I mentioned in episode 1, I played mainly zombies not too much multiplayer, I got wrecked in multiplayer. Thank god I wasn't playing in my account, I was playing in PS3 and uh we rem I remember we took turns like to play multiplayer split screen and we got totally wrecked like I'm talking about double negative numbers like 3 to 20 3 to something it was so depressing it kind of took me away from the multiplayer scene and I'm like I'm not too sure if I want to play competitively like that so I'm just I would just stick to to zombies and we played a bunch of zombies but now that I, I have some experience with Modern Warfare 2 and then Modern Warfare 3, Call of Duty 4 and and different other multiplayer games first person shooters now I've gave this a try about the game and I'm like I'm gonna give it a try so I've been playing it uh, this is one of my games and I did pretty good in this one um, and there's a moment I, I really like to sh I really want to share sniping I've heard a lot of concerns about sniping in Black Ops. Oh, it's too difficult. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's this. Terrible stuff about it. But to, to be honest, man, I liked it. And you'll see right now. I'll, I'll give you a heads up so you guys can enjoy that part. I'm probably... I, I'm not encouraged at all in sniping in this game. I wasn't for those comments of people saying it's terrible. Uh, like the, the the scope and the zooming in and stuff. It's... It's terrible, but I gave it a try. I picked up a gun and I was sniping pretty good, man. I mean, my ter my aims was not that perfect. I missed a couple shots, but I was uh, like, it, it it looks pretty good. It looks pretty decent, and I'm pretty sure that with some practice, I'll be an expert, man. I don't know if uh, maybe I'll join the optic clan or the face clan. <laughs> I'm playing, guys, and uh, but yeah, so far it's been good. I've been liking Black Ops a, a lot. I, pl I I have I haven't played it to be honest for like like two day three days. I'll be playing it today a lot and um, and uh, basically for the fact that I don't want to play alone too much because it will mess up my it, it it messes up your KD. Oh by the way, this gun is a beast in Black Ops. In Modern Warfare 2, it was not that used, but in but in Black Ops, man, I, I I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm. I think I'm close to unlocking it. I'm gonna use it for sure. I'm gonna pimp it out, for sure, cause I'm. I'm loving the gun. It brings down people easily. I think it's in the assault rifles section. I don't know why. If in Modern Warfare 2, I think it, it's in uh, light machine guns. If I'm not confused. And uh, but it's it's an awesome gun. I I love it. I love it a lot. And I have picked it up a few times. It, it has no recoil in short range. And um, it's perfect to bring down enemies. And long, di long distance, it also works as well. And uh, going back to the topic, Black Ops 2, it's it's good. I don't want to play alone because I'm, you know, when you buy a, your first game, first person shooter, you you kind of care about your KD at the beginning, and then you're just, eh, I don't give a crap anymore. I'm like that right now. I'm I'm trying to keep my KD two point something, and I've I've had a success. That's why you don't see me rushing completely. I don't know the map. You will see me get stuck in some places or go to routes that it's a dead end. I, I had no idea. And uh, I think I'm running uh, Care Package, Blackbird, and the Attack Dogs. For the fact that you always don't know what you're going to get. You might get a UAV. You might get... This was a Blackbird, so it was a perfect, perfect thing. It worked well. And, uh... Man, Black Ops, it runs, starting to run smooth, like, I'm kind of getting the hype of it, I'm getting ready for Black Ops 2, you know how, you, you have to prepare yourself mentally for the new game, because once you're playing Modern Warfare 3, you're going to get discouraged, man, you're going to get discouraged, I don't know what they did wrong in that game, to be honest, at the beginning it was the most amazing game I've ever, ever played, and uh, now... You die by dead man's hand. There's still people camping. Why? There's still people camping. There's noob tubes. There's the striker. The FMG nines. In search and destroy, man. The freaking tryhards playing, want to win the game, and they're they're going negative. 
and they pull out their FMG nines in, in search and destroy and stuff. I play search and destroy because it it's less it's less irritating than domination team deathmatch because of the freaking spawns that I hate. And uh, so I played search and destroy for a while, thinking and uh, realizing that if I play a shorter game with only one life, you only, you only rage once instead of raging. How many deaths can you have in a match of domination? You get my point? So I went there and uh, I did pretty good. We were beasting some kids and then they put out their Kimbo FMG 9s waiting in a freaking corner. Every time, man. Every freaking, freaking time. So it pisses you off completely. And uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, the attack dogs, they're a beast of a kill streak. I hope they uh, I hope it comes back in Modern in uh, Black Ops 2. I really do, man. Right there. I don't even know how oh, the guy the guy killed me. That's where I discovered oh, sniping. I was like, man, either he has a perfect game or it's not that it's not that hard cuz that looked beast. The animation looked beast. So, but yeah, let's stop ranting about Modern Warfare 3 and let's go back to Black Ops 2. There's some rumors I would like to I like to share with you guys. Maybe you already know, or maybe you know more than me. And uh, leave that in the comment if you do, man. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, I've heard rumors that on Black Ops 2 they're gonna, you're they're they're gonna how how how, how can we say this? Like there, I got stuck. Um, they're trying to cater the the competitive game. They're gonna add certain game modes, certain stuff for it to be a sport uh, e-sport so i'm i'm really looking forward to that i haven't joined any clan any team for that fact that you, you can't do that in, in uh, mono for three it's it's hard to set up games and stuff but now that's gonna be able that that's gonna be possible easier i don't know how they're gonna do that and i'm 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 really interested about that about how how, how can you make an e-sport and uh, you'll see a bunch of clans. You, see, I, I hope this takes gaming to another level, cause I don't know with you guys. There, I, I saved my freaking life, man. I don't even know. Oh, sit down, boy. You ain't only use me blade, baby. <laughs> and uh, there's where I picked up my, my sniper. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop my commentary so you guys can see. It's an amazing part. The FAMAS is good, but there I picked up the U Uzi. I think I use it once or twice. I don't know. Not too sure. And then I'm like, eh, freak. I'm going to snipe. I have too much kills already. I'm going to give it a try. So I was just testing out the scope, watching people. And then I was like, I'm like oh, radar. Sit down. <laughs> Optic Predator. There is what I missed. He was moving and then boom. Sit down. Sit down. And then no scope. <laughs> and then uh, let, let's see if I can take some other guys. Boom. The air. No. Okay. There. Guerrilla warfare. Sit down, man. The sniping. I'm probably gonna make a montage later on, man, or a mini touch, because I don't think I can pull up so many freaking clips. At the beginning, I won't, but it, I'm pretty much. I'm pretty sure that with with the adequate training and stuff, probably can pull some crazy no scopes and feats. And uh, yeah, let's get back to the topic. I think my sniper, my sniper, time passes. Yeah. So, the thing is. If that changes the competitive man, this game Black Ops 2, if it if it really helps the game, if it really helps the gaming community, it, the gaming community is gonna be high, man. Cause for example, high people told me, okay, what's your hobby, man? Like friends and stuff, or friends on my prior income, or older people ask me, what's your what's your hobby? What are you doing in your free time? Free time, and I'll be like, mm, gaming. I, I I play video games, but. Let me on. Let let me be honest. That I think twice about saying it. I'm like, should I say it? Should I not say it? I'm like, eh, I'm gonna say it. And you don't even imagine the judgmental eyes people give me when they f they hear that gaming. You play video games. What? But now if it's a sport, 
like like soccer like football like basketball like tennis golf whatever you guys play baseball if 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 it's not considered a sport what eyes what crazy eyes can they give me now you understand my point so i i really hope this goes big because i mean i enjoy playing video games uh, to, to be honest i'm not about my work and and stuff i don't go to school anymore but i work and uh and I'm in my free time. I I just play video games. It's it's just something fun to do. So I I hope that really changes, and I'm really looking forward to that. Another thing is the guns. They're talking about some guns already. The MP7. I'm I'm pretty hyped that it's coming back. I'm not too sure if it's gonna be named MP7, but it's gonna be a similar gun to that. The AK. It, it's always it's out. It always has to be in the game. It's a classic gun. The M4, it's also classic. M16, those are classic guns used in the army. So, and uh, apparently they're taking Black Ops 2 to another different level. They're adding machines f in the future. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty interested and curious about what attachments they're gonna bring now. And um, so yeah, let's uh, finish this commentary by saying, hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you wanna play, give me your gamer tag so I can hack you. And I'm just playing. So we can play together and uh, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe and if you want to see the previous video, click over there. If you want to tweet or you want to chat, Twitter and if you want to text me, my phone number is 956.